Hello there! This is an astrological forecast for Sagittarius for December of 2011. And this also applies if you have a Sagittarian ascendant. First thing to say to you is happy, happy birthday, my dear Sagis. I hope that it's a really wonderful year ahead for you. This month, boy, is it going to be intense. And especially as you're a mutable sign, we have an eclipse at 18 degrees of Gemini, which is falling in your seventh house of relationship. We also have Mercury retrograde still in your sign um, in your first house for the first two weeks of the month. So it's going to be an intense month. I'm expecting intensity. I'm expecting last minute plans to change. And what I'm anticipating for you, Sagis, is that much is going to be happening in your relationship area. Remember that an eclipse lasts for up to six months or more afterwards. The energies last on for that time. So for you, the eclipse in your seventh house is going to cause you to look at your relationships in a much deeper way than you've done before. So, for example, um, uh, the eclipse can sometimes blindside you. Yeah, you can't see what's been going on. The eclipse may force you to look at certain relationships, maybe that are not nourishing, maybe that are just draining you, or maybe there's an abusive relationship in your life. Maybe you need to put your foot down. Maybe, and during this time, there could be a marriage, there could be a divorce, there could be a separation, there could be a new coming together, there could be a new business venture. It can play out in so many different ways, this eclipse, but it will push you forward if it does mean that it's unpleasant experiences for you. It's pushing you to look, look at these experiences so that you can create new parameters in your life to create the things that will make you happier, to make the things that will give you gratification, especially in the relationship area. For many of you, it's been eluding you. It's been, you know, not within your grasp and relationships are going to be the big focus. Intimate ones, business ones, even people with whom you consult for advice will come under change and focus for you in the next several months. Now, for the first two weeks of the month, we've still got Mercury being retrograde. So you can be reassessing maybe how you look, how you package yourself, um, what, what you're doing with yourself. Uh, maybe buy yourself something nice, especially we've got your birthday month. It is time to lavish upon yourself and enjoy this month as well, despite all these um, challenging aspects that we're under. And as well towards, um, we've got Venus in your second house from, for the couple of first couple of weeks of this month. So that could mean something nice financially happening for you. Something, uh, maybe a little bonus or something extra coming in for you. And then Venus towards the end of the month in your third house. So uh, maybe a new friend, a new social contact coming in. And of course, Sagis, you do like new social and new friends and somebody with whom you can celebrate with. And celebrate you must because it's your birthday. Now, all month we've got Saturn making a trine to Neptune from your 11th to your third houses. So if you've had some dreams and wishes that have been going on, this could be the month that they actually materialise, they actually happen. If you've had dreams about maybe having more of a circle of friends, it could become a reality this month because Saturn makes those dreams of Neptune into a reality. We've got the Sun making a sextile to Venus for you between your first and third houses. This is a, it's a feel-good time. A good time for spending time with friends, with loved ones. Um, it's also a time when any tensions you've had in a relationship could now be ironed out and smoothed out. Um, that's the third week of the month. As well, during the third week of the month, we've got the sun sextiling to Saturn for you from your first to your 11th house. And this is any personal dreams that you've had really could be happening for you really could become a reality during this time and also very good time for any, getting things done. Anything work related for you will be well favoured during that time. And also particularly with Saturn in the 11th house, it's a great time to seek help or advice from an older person or somebody who you feel has, is very wise. So there you have it, my dear Sagis. 
Uh, I wish you a great month. You might want to have a birthday reading about and a solar return about what this year holds in store for you. You might want to ask a question about what this next year holds in store for you for $25 or maybe treat somebody to a reading or a book or an audio. I'd be delighted to hear from you, whatever happens. Have a happy, happy birthday. Thank you very much for listening. Bye for now.